If you have a lot of images on your WordPress website, you'll find this video extremely valuable. I find this problem with my WordPress website all the time. I have too many images on the site and finding the right image from this wall of images is always a huge pain. So I thought, let's make a video about it because I found the perfect solution on how to organize the mess and media library so that you can retain some peace of mind. Let me demonstrate. So I have this beautiful looking gallery that I've just created just to demonstrate that, hey, you can use multiple images on the site and you can have hundreds of images. By the way, this gallery is created with Envira Gallery. If you want to replicate this, you can just download the plugin. I'll link it in the description. But just to give an idea, if I go here on the post page, if I want to add a post or images to my post, this is the regular process, right? You open the post, type some text, and then go to images. If I go to the media library, you'll see I have just a handful of images on this website, 100 something. But just finding the right image will take me so much time. Where is that image? Let's search for it. It doesn't have the perfect name. You can't find it. Go back, go to the media library. It's a huge problem. So what is the solution? I was thinking to myself, wouldn't it be nice if you could just image or organize the images on WordPress like you just do it on your computer with folders. And I thought that's the perfect solution. So I did some research and of course I found plugins that can do this job wonderfully well. So let me demonstrate which plugins are the best, which features they do provide. And I'll do a quick demonstration so I can show you how you can organize your images on your WordPress website as well. So let me show you what to search in the plugins directory, which plugin is the best. I've tested a bunch and then how to use that plugin to organize your media library. So let's go to the plugin section here. I'll go to the plugin section, click on add new. And I'll search for a plugin called folders. Now you'll find a bunch of plugins by the same name or at least appearing in the search results and all of them do a great job. What I wanted to find was something that's easy to use, doesn't restrict too many features and is generous with this feature set basically. So I tested a few different plugins out and in my opinion, the folders plugin, this one, which I'm hovering my mouse over is the best balance. It allows you to create unlimited folders, but restricts a few different things like subfolders and other features, but it's not, a. Uh, I'd say the feature set was something that I found very generous to use. You can test out a few different plugins if you like, and then make your decision. But if you want to go with my recommendation, this is the plugin I would recommend you use. So I'll just click install now to start installing the plugin. Let's also activate it. So as soon as you activate the plugin, this is the settings page that you'll be taken to directly. One important thing I want to highlight here is, of course you can go through the settings and configure, but the default settings are good enough, but you can use this plugin, not only with attachments, which is images, but also with pages and posts. So you can organize your attachments, PDF images, but also pages and posts into particular categories. So if you have a lot of blog posts, a lot of pages, that can be something that is useful. But if you want to disable that feature, you can always cross this, but this is a demonstration, so I'm not going to do that right now. So we've installed this plugin. How do we organize the images on the site? Let's go to the media library and find out. So I'll go to the media library here. And there are a few different ways to start organizing this. Let me demonstrate. So first of all, you'll see this beautiful new interface to show you folders on the site. So how do we actually utilize this? The first thing we do is we actually create a folder, right? So I'll go to this giant button here. I'll click on it. And because a lot of images on our site, website are nature related, so I'll just do nature as a folder. Let's correct the spelling and click submit. And now we have a nature folder. Now there are a bunch of different ways to organize your images. Let me demonstrate all the few features or all the features. So if I wanna do one image at a time and I'm in the list view, I can just hover over image and then you'll see the move icon appear. I can just drag and let go. And that will move that particular image into a folder. If I want to undo the feature, undo the thing, I can go back into the folder. I'll open it and just drag the image once again to unassigned files. So I'll go back into all files and go back to the previous folder. And I can go back and now that image is back. If I want to do bulk movement on the list view, then I can use the bulk actions that we've seen that work. So I can just click, 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 or I can use the multi-select as well. Let me demonstrate with a few different three or four images. I can do that. And now I can use this move icon to drag the four images that I've selected to that particular folder. And now those four images are transferred to the right folder. That's how you do it in list view, but there are a few different ways you can do it in the, uh, the icon or thumbnail view. So let's switch to that. So I'll go here and let's switch to that view. And when you are in that view, you'll also see a new feature here called bulk organize, which is where it's much easier so that you can see a lot more images. So let me demonstrate how that works. So I'll click bulk organize. 
And basically now you can select all the images you want to move. So let me select the first few. Let's just keep selecting like this. And once you're happy with the selection, you can just go here on the top right, select the folder that you want to move the images to and click nature or whatever. This is in this particular case, I'm selecting that folder. And now all those images are moved to that particular folder. You can create new folders and you can create multiple folders how you like and organize them. Just for this demonstration, I'm going to stick with one folder, right? So now that you have created your folder, you know how to organize things. You can go move back and forth. How do we actually use this feature when we are creating a page or post? If that is where you don't see the folders and organization structure, this plugin is not very useful, right? So let me show you that. So what I'll do is I'll just go here and create a new post. And if you ha already have a post open in the background one when you are installing this plugin, you might need to refresh the page so that you can see the changes in the media library. So just to keep it simple, I'm just opening a new post or creating a new post. So I'll go here and I'll just give it a title image. And now I'll go here and choose the image block. All right. So if I want to choose the image block, I can go to the media library and now you know, can see a different feature. You can see the folders option here and also the folders option here. So instead of having to hunt down the file, I can just go to my particular folder and I say, hey, these are the folders that I moved or these are the images I moved to this particular folder. So I can click on this and I can just select this. And this is a feature that's very useful if you use a lot of galleries and collect images properly. Let me demonstrate. So if I go here and I just do a gallery, so you can see we have the default WordPress gallery. I also have the Envira gallery plugin installed. Let me show you how it works with Envira. So I'll use the media library because I don't have, or I think just created one basic gallery. And now I can use all the folders to select the images. So I can go here and I can now select images by holding control and selecting multiple images. So I'll just do a bunch here. And now I've selected all these images. I can select those. And now I have my beautiful gallery created. And of course, with the gallery, you can change the settings around. So you can search for a gallery, you can create multiple galleries, enable the light box, disable the light box, uh, change margins. So let me set the margins to medium. I can sort like this and I can change the layout to three columns if I like. So you have unlimited options. So having the uh, folders created in the media library uh, gives you the folders access when using the media library, when creating new pages and posts. That is very important. Now, one important feature that I did test was what happens if I delete the plugin? Do all my images get broken? So let's test that out as well. So I'll save this as a draft here and I'll go back to my uh, image website or website. And I'll go to the dashboard from here and let's delete this plugin so I can demonstrate how this works. So I'll just go here into the plugin section and I'll find the folders plugin. Let's find it. Here it is, let's deactivate it. I think deactivation is important because I can also show you what happens if I reactivate it. So let's not delete the plugin, but the same thing happens if you delete the plugin as well. So now that we have deactivated the plugin, if I go here and since this draft was saved, let's refresh it. So the images on the actual blog post are not affected. They remain the same. So even if you move things into folders, randomly uh, thing or stuff is not broken on the site or images are not broken on the site. You can see all the images here. So that's very important. If I go to the media library here and I refresh, then you'll see that of course the folders interface is gone, but the images will still remain. So all the images we had on the site are still on the site. So even if you deactivate the plugin, delete the plugin, nothing matters. At least your, the images are not gone. The content on your website is not changed. So all the images will still be shown in the relevant sections. And one important thing that I did test was what happens if I reinstall the plugin? Do all my folders come back? Let's test it out. So I'll activate the plugin once again here and I'll go to the media library and I'll refresh the media library and hopefully we'll start seeing the new interface once again. And now you see that if you reinstall the plugin, I did, I did test it with reinstall, not just deactivate and activate your folders are back. So even if you delete the plugin, you can reactivate it and you'll find all your folders back. And of course you can reorganize images as you see fit. And if you deactivate the plugin, delete some images, then activate it. And of course the images will be changed. But the idea is that if you accidentally deactivate the plugin or you, you are you worried that, hey, if I use this plugin to organize the images on my site and I want to use another plugin, if I delete this, will all my blog posts be broken? Will I have to uh, do the images again on the site? That answers your question as well. So 
very simple plugin very simple video but immensely powerful and i'd say for me a lot of peace of mind that's how you organize your media library to maintain peace of mind and get some structure back to your wordpress gallery so if you have any questions about this plugin that's on the comments check out nvidia gallery if you want to create beautiful galleries that i demonstrated and any other question about wordpress the comment box is open make sure to like share subscribe do all that good stuff and you're watching kivraj from wp beginner and i'll catch you in the next video really soon take care